Kia te no no mai, haere mai, welcome to sunny Blue Water Stadium here in the heart of Napier and we've got finals action between Tauranga Boys College and Hutt International School coming right up. But before we get into the heart of the action, let's hear some words from one of our biggest sponsors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This isn't about long distance calling, technology, or living overseas. Go ahead, one more bid. Thank you. We're going to go one. We're going twice. And we are sold to the Kiwi phone bidder from Manchester. <laughs> it's about Baileys finding buyers that others can't. I have with me Kerry Gaines from Baileys. Kerry, what's your role with Baileys? Uh, yeah, thanks, Tim. I'm uh, one of the shareholders of the franchise here, and uh, here in Hawke's Bay, and down in Wairarapa, uh, and uh, currently also managing our commercial business. How good has this week been? Oh, I tell you what, um, you know, normally uh, school sport is absolutely amazing, um, but this week has been particularly good. The, you know, the standard of the sport that we're seeing around the place is, is absolutely exceptional. Tell us about Bailey's involvement with this competition. Yeah, we, uh, we sponsor school sport uh, nationally, uh, and here in Hooks Bay we're big supporters of particularly youth sport and, and giving people opportunities to, to get out and play, uh, which they may not otherwise have. So we're, we're big supporters in the region of, uh, of, of certainly sport uh, and, and cultural as well. And it's been tough times for people throughout Aotearoa. Yeah. How important is it for Baileys to connect with the community in a way like this? Oh, look, I think it's really important, particularly, as you say, we've got difficult times. Um, you know, there's a lot of families struggling out there. Uh, and, uh, you know, one of, uh, one of our biggest principles within Baileys is to really support the communities and get involved uh, in every community that we're in. And what about for our rangatira watching... And I guess encouragement to get them on the property ladder as soon as they possibly can? Yeah, look, I think uh, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, it's not, it never gets any easier. Um, so everyone I talk to, and we're involved in a number of schools and, and, and with other people as well, is, you know, just uh, do whatever you take to make it happen as quickly as possible because you'll never regret it. And, of course, the final this afternoon, Tauranga Boys against Hutt International. What's your call for that? Uh, look, it's going to be tough. As I said, there's some amazing quality football being played. Um, but being a watered up a boy, uh, I'm going to go closer to home and uh, call it with a hut. Oh, good stuff. Hey, look, thank you very much to you and Baileys for their support of this football tournament. It's really appreciated. Absolute pleasure. This isn't about printing. It's about better results, with over 90 officers right across the country, in residential, commercial, and rural. What a beautiful day it is here in Napier. Conditions could not be better for this final matchup. Here in Napier, it's 17 degrees and sunny, and we have a westerly coming in at 14 kilometers an hour. Conditions could not be better. And we've got finals action coming up for you in around about five minutes time. Stay tuned. And first we'll have a look at these two teams. We've got Hutt International School up against Tauranga Boys College. And here is Tauranga Boys, managed by Neil Howard and Alex Bryant. What a strong team that is. In 2019, in the last competition, they made it all the way to the quarterfinals but were knocked out by eventual champions, Sacred Heart College. A really experienced team, mostly year 13s in that Tauranga Boys College team. And they'll be looking to take this gold medal here in Napier. And here is your Hutt International Boys starting a 11 and squad captain by Lucas Jelly, the sports captain at Hutt International School. And you've got a wealth of experience in those 17 players. I've had a great tournament so far. Edging out Scott College 1-0 in the semi-final yesterday to be here today to face Tauranga Boys College.
your match officials for today. The referee is Nikolai Shivlikov. He's assisted by William Roberts and Daniel Neville. And your fourth official today is Sam Clement. As the teams make their way into the middle of the pitch, you can feel the atmosphere here in Blue Water Stadium as the supporters trickle in, ready to get behind their respective teams. Hutt International from the capital and Tauranga Boys College making the journey from Tauranga. This matchup promises to have all the emotion, all the goals, all the aggression. Can't wait for this encounter. Here are the captains for Tauranga Boys College, the vastly experienced George Brown, and for Hutt International School, Lucas Jelly, in the number seven shirt. Tauranga Boys College today are the only team left in this tournament who has won six out of their six games. Competition to be feared. They had an incredible team last year, but unfortunately that tournament was cancelled and they're looking to better their result from last tournament, 2019, where they finished fifth. Looking to make it first this year. What a matchup this promises to be. The fans await kickoff. Here we go, all the build up. This entire week, the preparation all comes down to this the final of the Lotto Boys Premiership Trophy. And Nikolai Shivlikov opens up the game. Tauranga boys look to go long early. And Charlie Peacock with good pressure early. And it trickles out. Tauranga boys college throw. They're looking to get the pressure on early. Press high up the pitch. Get numbers forward. Swings into the middle. It's taken by Mirko Brinkman. Here's George Brown, the captain and cleared away nicely but not further than a Tauranga Boys College player Brinkman plays a Fanaroa, a long ball over top which is received beautifully here's George Brown on the overlapping left back run and the cross goes out for a goal kick the Fanao Hawkeye there just getting away from him, the cross. And he just lost his balance as he tried to put in a lofted cross. And Lucas Sigal will take the goal kick for Hutt International boys. Good jump from Mirko Brinkman and it's gone up, still an aerial battle. Well brought down by Xavier Maddox. Good intensity early on. It's a good fight between Jack Evans and George Brown there on that left hand side. Lots of intensity. It's Henry Kemp. John T. Bidwa back to Kemp.
just setting back on it in these early stages in the Fanaroa, the long ball over top, received beautifully by George Brown. He's got time. He'll look to play it into the box. And the hit's on it for Tottenham Boys College. 1-0. What a beautiful goal. That's John Z. Bidouard. And they take the advantage in the third minute of this final. What a start from Tauranga Boys College. That's beautiful football. Well received by George Brown in the cross in. John T. Bidwa got power with the header. And that's beautifully done there by the Tauranga Boys College 11. He just gets away from his marker, does Bidwa. And the celebrations. What a start. And after only two minutes, Tauranga Boys College take the advantage. It's well kept in by Mirko Brinkman, but it's been taken away. The ball across is cleared up nicely by Henry Kim. Just a touch of pressure there from Hutt International Boys. And it's out for a throw. The throw comes in. There's Sam Riagna. But it's cleared out. Xavier Maddox on to Alex Searle, who's got a lot of pace on him down the line. There's a chance he's brought down. And the ref. Will give... A yellow card for that challenge. Alex Searle doing really well just to get past his man there. And here's the replay of that goal we saw earlier from John T. Bedoua. What a player down the middle of that Tauranga Boys College attack. And the Fana Fifi from Mirko Brinkman, the free kick, is in a good position. With that westerly coming across, he'll look to get it in the box, use the wind. And he's brought down in the penalty area. Penalty for Tottenham Boys College. That was excellently done by Charlie Peacock. He shielded the ball. And a penalty has been given against Hutt International Boys College. And that penalty given against Ben Wyness for a sliding challenge. And a chance for Tottenham Boys College to go 2-0 up after only five minutes. Here we are, Mirko Brinkman to take for Tauranga Boys against Lucas Sigal for Hat International Boys. A chance to give Tauranga Boys College a two goal lead. Brinkman Steps up, and he's missed it. Unlucky there. That's all right for Tauranga Boys College, though. You just look to get under it, to lean back on it. And he's really unlucky there from the penalty, and it's out for a goal kick. He had the chance to double the Tauranga Boys College lead and couldn't convert on that penalty attempt. Now, the Kakati Uhanga, the goalkeeper, Lucas Egal launches the goal kick. And Alex Sell's done well there to get Charlie Peacock in. But well dispossessed. And that's out for a Tauranga Boys College throw. So much drama early on. In the first five minutes, we saw a goal after only two minutes. And then a penalty given against Ben Wyness but it was missed, put over the crossbar by Mirko Brinkman. And he's won it back. But Henry Kim does well, and that's played back to Troy Taylor for Tottenham Boys College. Received well by Xavier Maddox. He's got space, he's got time ahead of him. Played to Charlie Peacock, who leaves it for Mirko Brinkman. Down the line, Xavier Maddox. And that's well done there. Yeah. 
a back and forth type of game so far. We've seen Charlie Peacock in that right wing back position, plays it through. Alex Searle, a good battle there. He's come out with it, gets the cross in. And it's well done there in the Hutt International School defense. Out for a Tauranga Boys College throw to be taken by George Brown, the captain. Here's Kundi, and plays it out for a hot throw. And here was that penalty decision. Well won by Charlie Peacock, but Mirko Brinkman couldn't convert. Looking for that right-hand corner, and puts it just over the bar. And we're back to the action here. Rostron plays a good ball for Bidwa. Maddox in position, and it's well done there. Again, but Jonty Bidwa's won it back. He's got men in the middle. Here's George Brown, captain. Back out for Brinkman. And he slips, and it's cleared from Hutt International. Kemp does well. Taylor to Kandi. Yep. Launches the Fanaroa, the long ball. Well received by George Brown. Chance for a Fana Hawkeye across. Maddox, Brinkman, back to Maddox. And it's shut down. Here come Hutt on the counter attack. And the ref indicates a foul for Hutt International. Calls of B tidy from George Brown. They're just waiting for the Fana Fifi, the free kick, to be taken. A really interesting first 10 minutes, and we have 25 more minutes of action in this first half. Two halves of 35 minutes each today, and a five minute half time. <coughs> Chance in the box, unlucky for Sam Riogna. out for a Tauranga Boys College goal kick. Troy Taylor plays it out short. George Brown. Plays it short. And that's out for a throw. Hutt International School looking to be setting up with quite a high back line to try and hit Tauranga boys on the counter now that they're one goal down. The throw taken by Jack Evans. Down the line. Renoa's done well. And he's brought down. Good tackle. Awesome tackle there. On the left hand side for Tauranga Boys College and it's out for a throw. He's done well there. They look to get goal side, keep their heads up for this throw. Throw taken by Evans, long throw and hit it out nicely. Here's a chance.
Just a bit of assistance from the medical team. Ben Dudney. Just getting checked. And here's that replay of the first goal for John T. Bidwar and Tauranga Boys College, giving them that lead. A beautiful ball into the box. And Bidwar with the height in the jump. And a brilliant start for Tauranga Boys. And here's that penalty again that was put over the bar. So unlucky to not convert from there. And the actions restarted here. The Fanaro long ball over top. And here's a chance for Charlie Peacock. He's got the ball inside the box. He's done well shielding it from his man. That's Jamie Reed. And George Brown's got it again. Played out to the edge of the box where Mirko Brinkman is ever, ever present. It's Bryant. Maddox over top for Searle and well taken by Luca Seagal, goalkeeper. Punted upfield nicely. The ref's just asserting himself early, making sure nothing untoward happens in terms of aggression and fouls as we see that high foot. And Troy Taylor collects nicely for Tauranga Boys College. Plays a long ball up. George Brown on that left that left wing back position does well. Gets past two. He's in here. A ball across. Here's Bidwar. And what a tackle that is in the back line for Hutt International School. And calls of a handball. Tauranga Boys College have a fun Fifi, a free kick around the halfway line. Looking to go forward. Rostron plays it wide. And that trickles out of play for a goal kick. Charlie Peacock unable to get there for Tauranga Boys. Here is that beautiful touch from George Brown. Brought it down nicely. Got past one. But unsuccessful on his run. Just a tussle in that midfield. Maddox does well to clear up. He's got it now on that right hand side. No foul call from the ref is Hutt International look to get forward through their striker, Sam Rinoa. And they're dispossessed. And Bidwa does well to get there first. Good, the battles of the number six, Jamie Reed and Charlie Peacock putting on display here. Tauranga boys surging forward through Nathan Rostron. But that's cleared out by Hutt International for a Tauranga boys throw. Well, we've seen lots of action early on here. A goal, a penalty given. But the game slowed down a bit as both teams find their legs. It's been some good battles in the midfield. 
and Tauranga Boys College have done well in their final third. Again, back to Taylor. And that's gone out for a throw. As Hutt International head forward, they get their defense past the halfway line. They're looking to equalize, looking to tie this game back up. The long throw down the line. Played through and well cleared up there. That's gone upfield nicely and headed out of play by Cody Arkansas. It's been solid so far, apart from the concession of that first goal. That's well done by Bedouin. On to Alex Sell in the number 12 jersey. Played in and cleared up nicely by Arkansas. And a chance for Hutt International to counter. And a chance here for Sam Noah. Calls, shouts from the ref. And that's Hutt International appealing for a penalty, saying he was brought down there. As we'll see that fast counter attack. Renoa going down there under the challenge of Henry Kemp, but the ref waves away the calls from Hutt International School and it's out for a goal kick to be taken by Troy Taylor. And that's a chance here for George Brown. Gets his shot away, but it's straight at the goalkeeper, Lucas Sigal. Currently playing as the goalkeeper for the Pinton Reserve team. They won the Capital Football Division II this season. So he's got a lot of experience under his belt in goal for Hutt International Boys. Renoir playing as quite a deep striker at the moment. Perhaps as a false nine as he looks to try and keep his team in position, get them moving forward to try and equalize. It's a ball over top and he's brought down. And that's a penalty. That's a penalty given for Hutt International Boys School that looked to just get slightly away from the Tottenham Boys College center backs, Troy Taylor, committed himself early and the penalty calls now from a from the Hutt International team for a possible yellow or red card and it's Sam Renoa who steps up to take this the ref just waving in the player who was brought down and they need Troy Taylor looks like he needs a bit of medical t care from the Tauranga Boys College team it was quite a, a tough challenge <laughs> Sam Rioga steps up to take this penalty. As we see the replay of the challenge, Troy Taylor just getting in the way, stopping that possible goal scoring attempt. So it's given as a penalty, a foul inside the box. Yoga who plays his football for Wellington Olympic. 
helps coach the under 13 team will now step up to take this penalty to equalize to make it a one all give Hutt International their first goal Troy Taylor against Sam Ryoga And it's saved by Troy Taylor. What a save from that penalty. We've seen two penalties and neither of them converted. What a save that is by Troy Taylor. He committed to going right, he got down and saved the follow up as well. It's brilliant work from the Tottenham Boys College keeper. And he'll be very pleased with that as Tottenham Boys College look to go forward on the counter and that's out for a throw. We've seen early drama here. As we tick closer, we've got 12 and a half, 11 and a half minutes left in this first half between Hutt International and Tauranga Boys College. What a penalty save that was from Troy Taylor. And he keeps Tauranga Boys College lead intact. Xavier Maddox with the throw. Launched into the box. Searle gets the flick on. And Peacock unable to connect with it. Picked up by Lucas Egal. Who will punt it forward. Brought down nicely. And he's played a long ball. But that's headed out nicely. Henry Kemp. Strong as always in that Tauranga Boys College defense. Chance for a long throw. And they'll play it back. And that's out for a, the first Hutt International fun arc of the game, corner kick. And they've played it short. Lucas Jelly back in into the box. Taylor comes out, asserts himself well. Taylor will put this on the ground, play it out from the back. It's been a staple of this Tauranga Boys College offense. They're constantly looking to play out from the back, create those chances. Brinkman finds Brown nicely on this left hand side a good tussle between those two and the ref calls for a Tauranga Boys College Fana Fifi just a bit too much contact it seemed like on George Brown and this sets up a Fana Fifi in a really dangerous position for Tauranga Boys with the height and the jumping that they have in that box. A chance for them to get ahead on it. And the Fano Fifi to be taken by Captain George Brown. Got the assist for the first goal. Looking to replicate that. Comes out for Sell. The ball into the box. Hit it away. And that's cleared up nicely. But Tauranga Boys College do well to get it back to George Brown who play it into the middle. And there's no one there. Tauranga Boys College with the majority of possession early on in this game, the last 27 minutes. They've dominated well. And we've seen two penalties given and neither of them converted. As it comes back to Henry Kemp, who'll play it. Out for Charlie Peacock. Makes a bit of a mess of it on that right-hand side. 
And that's out from Mark Owen. This is that penalty save from Troy Taylor earlier. He did really well to catch that second, the rebound, to make sure that Sam Riogna didn't have a chance to come in and convert it off the rebound. And the score remains at 1 all. Bano Fifi, Tauranga Boys College, free kick. forward Henry Kemp tries the shot from miles out and it's off the bar up oh, above the bar sorry they're moving the ball well here Tauranga Boys College they've dominated this midfield and dominated in the final third that's because of the movement on the ball and off the ball Sam Rignoa. Cleared nicely though. Lucas Jelly. Out to that right hand side. It's Xavier Maddox to Jonty Bedois. Played out to Charlie Peacock at the right wing back. And Bedois done well, but he can't keep it in. Out for another goal kick. The Kai Kati Uhanga, the goalkeeper for Hutt International School. He's been busy this first half. As he plays it long. Tauranga boys take possession, but it's taken off them by Hutt International. It's Daniel Mekowim, but taken away from him. A punch punch, a back and forth type of game. Peacock on this right. Brinkman. Maddox. That's another beautiful ball off to George Brown. He's done well. Get the Fana Hawkeye the cross into the middle. Cell connected with it. And the rebound wasn't finished off as he would have liked to be. George Brown doing excellently on that left foot to get that into the box. These conditions today just absolutely perfect for a game of football for the final of this boys lotto premiership. Brought to you by Fakata, Māori. Big thanks to our sponsors, Baileys, Celtic, New Zealand, Carbon Farming. And brought to you by the Stream Shop. As we tick closer, we've got three and a half minutes and then referee's time and these 35 minute halves with a five minute half time. Tauranga Boys College with a 1-0 advantage. They've had an amazing tournament so far. They beat St. Paul's Collegiate who played in this, played on this stadium earlier today. They beat them 1-0 thanks to a stoppage time winner to send Tauranga through to this final where they've got now a one goal advantage. Looking to win their first Boys Lotto Premiership in 25 years. That last team, captained by Nathan Fry, coached by Neil Howard, who's still here, leading his team from the sideline. And that's a long throw from Maddox, brought down nicely, and a chance 
saved and the follow-up saved again. And Luca Sigal is down. As we see Bidwar with a great turn and then the follow-up from Charlie Peacock, but Sigal got there first. Good to see that he's okay, the Kaita Uhana goalkeeper. Sigal just taking his time after that double save. He launched the Fanaroa up for Hutt International. It's brought down. Won by Mirko Brinkman. Plays forward. He's got George Brown down the left hand side. But Hutt International do well. They're back in position now. Played out to the right. Well won by Charlie Peacock. He's battling with Harrison Kowalt. Comes back out for Tottinger boys. He's Brinkman. Rostrum to Kemp. done by Brown and there's no one there on the Fanaroa through long ball and Xavier Maddox does well but now Sam Riog He's unlucky there not to get away, but that they will take the throw in around the halfway line. Dudney plays it along the field, switching position, switching across. Played down to the left hand side. Cleared up by Charlie Peacock, as far as Sell, and he's done well, unlucky that the ball's rolled out of play. We're looking just to get away with that dominant physical stature, Alex Sell, playing as that right centre forward. And it's a hot throw. They're committing numbers forward here, huh? They've got space over on this near right-hand side. Comes in. But it's taken away by Tottenham boys. Bidwar. And Searle's got space. Searle's got space ahead of him and the goal in sights. He'll play it out to the edge of the box and it's cleared up nicely. But only as far as Brown here. Back into the middle. And he's dispossessed, Sam Rioga, heading forward, and he's brought down, the ref. Ref just producing the, the yellow card here. Wadarutu Toma Moody, a late tackle there. And he's gone into the referee's book here for that challenge. 
Just bringing the striker, Sam Ryoga, down on the counter-attack. Stopping them from getting forward. And now, Hutt International boys have a fun Fifi. Taken by Troy Taylor. And that's the end of the first half. Played 37 minutes. And Tauranga Boys College with that one goal advantage thanks to the header from John T. Bidwa after only three minutes. It's been a very dramatic first half. Lots for the refs to do. And Tauranga Boys College head in for their halftime team talk with that one goal advantage. Found the place. That's a good start. Built by my great grandfather. No time to fluff around today? No worries. Just swing into Caltex and pay for fuel with Pay and App to speed on through. Oh yeah, feels good. Use it at your local participating Caltex. This isn't about cameras, it's about getting a better shot, so you can get a better result. A great photo of your property is more important than a picture of our agent. Whoops, running on empty? Enjoy a six cents per litre fuel discount at your local Caltex with Pumped Every Day. Ah, feels good, eh? Get it at any participating Caltex. My, welcome back to the final of the Boys Lotto Premiership Trophy here between Tauranga Boys College and Hutt International. Tauranga Boys headed into the tunnels with a one goal to nil advantage. A really great game we've seen so far, lots of chances for both teams. And the managers of either team will just lo be looking to keep their team, both teams in it. And there's that first goal. The header from John T. Bidwa after only three minutes. What a start that was from Tauranga Boys College. George Brown has had an excellent game on this left wing back, the captain of Tauranga Boys. And this was the penalty. A strike on the left hand side and Troy Taylor does beautifully well to guess which way he's going. Save the shot, save the follow up. And this was another chance. A good cross from Jamie Reed. Troy Taylor did well. And this was Mirko Brinkman's penalty after only five minutes, which he put over the bar.
Just leaned back on that penalty slightly. Yeah, over on this close left-hand side, George Brown has had an excellent game. He's got forward, but also defended really well. And this is the trophy. The thing we're fighting for today. Tauranga Boys College against Hutt International Boys. One will take this trophy back with them. And it's been an amazing turnout for this final game of the Boys Lotto Premiership. We've had great numbers, great support. And it's really awesome to see all the supporters. And we appreciate you joining us on the exclusive Vakata Modi broadcast of this match. And we'll hit to a short break before the teams come back out. In the second half review. This isn't an ad about four-wheel drives. It's about knowing the place, as well as the locals. We found the place. That's a good start. Walk by my great. Whoops! Running on empty? Enjoy a six cents per litre fuel discount at your local Caltex with pumped every day. Ah, feels good, eh? Get it at any participating Caltex. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this downtown apartment is the perfect first property. Okay. Our vendors have a new baby. Then moving on, so we're selling this today. Do I have any more bids? One bid here, thank you. I've got a bid there. We've got one more here. Yes, we have one more bid. We have a bid here. Do we have any more final This bids? isn't about just selling Go one on. property. Go it's about getting a better time. result for our clients. So, so we can help them with their next property, the one after that, and the one after that. No time to fluff around today? No worries. Just swing into Caltex and pay for fuel with Pay and App to speed on through. Oh yeah. Feels good. Use it at your local participating Caltex. And second half action will commence very shortly. It's been an amazing final so far. We've been treated to a brilliant goal from John T. Bidwire after three minutes. Two penalties. A couple of bookings from the referee. And a great encounter between these two sides. This was the first goal. George Brown's done excellently well on this left wing back position. He's overlapped really nicely, something that the modern game has seen more and more of. You see wing backs and left and right fullbacks getting up the pitch, getting crosses in the middle, and George Brown putting on a show today. And here come Tauranga Boys College. Looking to take back that trophy from Sacred Heart College. We've held on to it for the last two years. Hutt International College come back out on the pitch kicking right to left as you see it on your screen led by their captain Lucas Jelly a vast amount of experience in this Hutt International team today some of the players being selected for the Wellington Phoenix Academy the footballers of the future Go on show here today. And the officials back on the field, Nikolai Shivlikov, the main referee, his assistants, William Roberts and Daniel Neville, and your fourth official, Sam Clement.
Here we go. We're all set for the second half here. And Nikolai Shevlikov blows his whistle. Jamie Reed plays a Vanaroa, a long ball. And it's brought down nicely. Xavier Maddox just committing the foul, giving the Fana Fifi the free kick to Hart International. Who will slow it down, look to get it into the box. Cody Arkansas over this free kick, but it's taken. Jamie Reed played into the box, collected well by Troy Taylor. This is his second season as the starting goalkeeper for the Tauranga Boys College first 11. Peacock, Maddox, and that's up for a throw. Jamie Reed to take this throw for Hutt International. Peacock on the right hand side. Through to Searle, he's done well. And he's got a chance to launch the Fana Hawkeye into the box. Brinkman, and that's out. Bedwa got a beautiful touch to it, and so unlucky that it's just over the bar. Brinkman with some excellent Cal using the wind to his advantage. The wind's just picked up here a bit in Napier. We've got westerlies at about 18 to 19 kilometers an hour. And that ball's launched long. Maddox, Brinkman, he's got Peacock. Who looks to bring it in. And it's cleared out. And here's a chance, Lucas Jelly releases Ben Dundee Ford. But there's no one to receive that cut back. And it's played out, Bidwa. Peacock, out on this right hand side. So. Some great battles there between Searle and the back line. Let's back out for another Hutt International throw. Gonna come, Herbs, keep working. And the whistle goes. It's a Fana Fifi free kick for Tauranga Boys College. And there is the Tauranga Boys College manager, Neil Howard. He won this tournament 35 years ago with Auckland Grammar School. And he's been in charge of this Tauranga Boys College first 11 for many years. And he's looking to take his second ever tournament win. First as a manager. McCohen leaves it out on this right hand side for Harrison Kowalczyk but Tottenham Boys College back in position it's Charlie Peacock he's got space ahead of him up for John T. Bidwa Jamie Reed does well. He's found Lucas Jelly. It's brought down by McCowan. And a beautiful turnout here. Lots of supporters. It's really great to see this number of fans getting behind the stadium. 
getting behind the players. Troy Taylor launches a Fanaroa, a long ball, and it's picked out by Jelly. And it's gone out. Hart International looking to press forward, looking to put the pressure on the Uhanga, the goal. Reed with the throw, looking to get the cross. And it's intercepted well. It's Maddox to Sell. Maddox plays a beautiful one two and Sell's in here. He plays the cross ball and it's Bidwa! Yeah, buddy! What a save that was from Luca Sigal. Incredible save. Great reflexes, great positioning. And he denies John T. Bidwa his second goal. Alex Sell with a beautifully placed cross. And Sigal, the goalkeeper. Positions himself perfectly. And Bidwa, so unlucky. <laughs> not to score that goal and double the Tauranga Boys College lead. And the throw's cleared away nicely. Brinkman. Brown with the Fana Hawkeye, the cross into the middle. And it's cleared up by Cody Arkansas. Arkansas School started every single game this season for the Hutt International First 11. And he's been part of the side since his year 11. He's year 13 now. Really solid in this Hutt International back line. <laughs> and that's out for Tauranga Boys College Whanau Koko corner kick. Brown with the delivery. Brinkman brings it down. And it's gone back. Bidwa does well. He's gone past two. Chance for the Fana Hawkeye, the cross into the middle. He's found Maddox. It's back to Bidwa. Cleared up. And a chance now for Hutt International to counter through Sam Ryoga. <laughs> Harry Lamont in that number 10 jersey for Hutt International. Beautifully done by George Brown. And he's been held back. He's still going. Advantage, Tauranga boys. And they'll look to slow it down. Maddox, Bidwa, down this left-hand side. Launches it across the field. Charlie Peacock with some space ahead of him. A good battle in this right-hand side of the pitch. And George Brown does well. Brinkman. Loses out. And he's dispossessed. Here's Xavier Maddox. Launching a ball through, Alex Sell gets there first, he's waiting for his teammates. And that's out for a corner kick, Afana Koko. Sell putting his excellent pace on show here. Charlie Peacock will take Tauranga Boys, the first Tauranga Boys College corner kick from this side. An in swinger with this westerly could make life difficult for the goalkeeper. 
Swung in. And taken by Luca. Seagal. And here come Hard International. He's got support. And Afana Fifi, a free kick in a good position, has been given for Hard International. Lucas Jelly, the captain, also part of the Cricket First 11 at Hard International School. And Afana Fifi, a free kick here for Hutt International boys in a good position with the right foot. Calls Troy Taylor into, ac into action, but he does well. Just sitting on the ball. And we're playing to 70 minutes here, two halves of 35 minutes each. As the clock ticks down, Tauranga Boys College still with the advantage. Thanks to a jaunty Bidwa header in the third minute. Brinkman to Bidwa. Brown's got their first. Maddox. They've got numbers ahead here, have Tauranga boys. Bidwa has a hit. It's come out to Charlie Peacock, who's got space. Chips it in. And a crucial touch here. And a chance again. Cleared off the line. Here's so. Unlucky not to convert. So many chances there for Tauranga boys. It came across to Charlie Peacock who just lifted it in and a crucial touch there from Ar Arkansas. And then the shot from George Brown was cleared off the line. Excellent display of defense there from Hutt International. And they'll look to go forward. A Fanaroa, a long ball over top, is won by Brinkman to Searle. And a Hutt International free kick. given by referee Shevlikov. And that crucial touch in the box just to lift it over Alex Sell. And then he had the shot. It was just lifted over the bar. Lucas Jelly, he's done well. He's drawn two. And now Sam Rionga does well. Lifted into the box, cleared up nicely. Is Jelly still with the ball at his feet? Does well. Tries to get a cross in. Brinkman. And that's out of danger for Tottenham Boys, but it's out for a throw. Lots of pressure on Tauranga Boys College defense from Hutt International. They've done well, they've pressed high. They've won the ball back in good positions and they've looked to go forward. And a good show of aggression in that Tauranga Boys College midfield. Alex Sell does well, showing off his strength. He's in here, looking to play it across. Cleared up nicely and cleared away. Ben Wyness. Really strong in that Hutt International defense. And a foul call given by the referee. Just going to ground there. And now Hutt will look to go forward, look to get men forward. Jelly. Rioga does well. He's found Lamont, and that's out for a goal kick. A corner, excuse me. A chance for Hutt International to deliver a Fana Koko corner kick. 
as we tick down we've reached the 50 minute stage so only 20 minutes left in this mesmerizing final and a chance for Hutt International played into the box and cleared beautifully by Henry Kemp Edouard does well and he's played it through Sell looking to get there first there's Maddox as well he's got Sell leading Tottenham of Boys College and it's given offside the offside flag goes up the offside flag went up against Alex Sell as we'll see here a beautiful ball by John T. Bidwa. Xavier Maddox got there first. But Alex Sell just straying into an offside position. And that goal won't count. It remains 1 0 in favour of Tottenham Boys. Jamie Reed up the line. Lucas Jolly, captain, on the ball. Played through the legs. And a chance he's in on goal here. And it's just drifted wide drifted past the post a massive chance for Hutt International to equalize coming, it's coming. and it's just past that right post as you look at it on your screen Troy Taylor asserting himself for that one on one but it's out for a goal kick Launched long by Taylor. That's a free, uh, that's a throw in for Hutt International. Cleared up by Kundi. Maddox goes to ground. Free kick, Tottenham Boys College. This game has been dominated so far in the midfield. The, the possession that Tottenham boys have had and the, the duels, the battles that they've won in defense and in the second, in the middle of that field and the final third, they've done excellently. They've dominated that game and they're unlucky not to be 2-0 up. Peacock with the header, it's over, Maddox falls to ground, Sell blocked by the goalkeeper, Maddox again on the roof of the net, massive chance again for Tottenham boys to capitalise and Lucas Egal is called into action once more, he was up very quickly and that's exactly what you want to see from your goalkeeper, Maddox slipped in the chance, Sell tried to get it back in and that's a Another free kick for Hutt International. They're going forward quickly. The Fana Fifi taken quickly. Getting forward. But strong as always in that Tauranga Boys College defense. Throw-in comes. Here's Jelly, plays it through. A chance to get it into the box. And there's still a man. Headed out of play by Kyan Kundi. The communication in the Stottinger Boys College back line today has just been exceptional. Led by Captain George Brown. Just all keeping their head in the game. They're up 1-0. Looking to take out this famous boys Lotto Premiership trophy. And here they are on the counter attack. It's a beautiful ball. Taken down by Jonty Bidwa. And he's brought down. Play on. Calls the referee. And now it's Hutt International in position. Looking to go forward. Cleared up nicely by 
Tauranga, the Tauranga Boys College back line, they dropped. They got back fast. And this is a back-to-back -back game. John T. Bidwai just going down under that challenge. Throw comes in, Tauranga Boys College deal with it. Bidwire in position again. Thanks to the overlapping run of George Bridge. George Brown, sorry. And a Fanaroa, long ball over the top, a chance here for Hutt. That's Jelly with the ball at his feet like we've seen so much. And a slide by Charlie Peacock. Stops the danger. And it's off the Hutt International player last, so a goal kick. If you're just joining us on Fakata Mori, it's been an awesome game so far. A goal in the third minute thanks to Jonti Bidwa. And we appreciate you wherever you're joining us, in New Zealand or around the world. This is the final of the boys' Lotto Premiership. One of the biggest first 11 trophies in the game. And here's a big chance for Lucas Jelly. He's in on goal. And he's got away Troy Taylor. Does brilliantly. This Tauranga Boys College back three has been so solid. Always ready to deal with that counter attack. Get goal side early, and now Alex Searle has a chance for a counter-attack of his own. But Lucas Egal deals with it. Launches it long. It's brought down for McCowan. Here's Brown. Down the line for Bidwa. Bidwa still with the ball at his feet, does well, gets past two, he gets his shot away, saved by Lucas Egal, and it remains 1-0 as we tick down 12 minutes remaining in this second half. An awesome show of support here at Blue Water Stadium Napier. We've had 32 teams travel here over this week. And it's come down to the last two teams. Hutt International against Tauranga Boys. We've seen a great game so far. And it's still not done yet as Alex Searle has a chance in on goal. It's Brinkman for Maddox. Through to Searle. Dealt with by Seagal. Plays it long again. And it's fallen for Peacock. Keeps it in. And that's gone up. For another throw. For Hutt International. They're looking to commit numbers four. They're playing a back four setup. Hutt International. And getting their midfielders involved in the game, as we've seen with Lucas Jelly getting really far forward, the captain. But now, Tauranga Boys College look to hit them on the counter. Here's John T. Bidwa. He's in on goal, gets the shot away with his left foot. Cleared up really nicely from the Hutt International back line. Committing three men towards Bidwa. And that decision pays off. But... Maddox will take this throw. He's got a long throw on him. Maddox delivers. Get it away. Brinkman wins the second and Alex Searle is in. And Seagal does well once again with the throw. Come 
And we've ticked past the 60 minute mark. 10 minutes left in this game. The one hour mark is the time that sports scientists suggest that your body starts to get tired, you're more susceptible to injuries, and it's the time that most managers look to make changes. We may see, see a change here. As players are limbering up on this touchline. But Maddox emerges with the ball on the right wing. So, through to Maddox. Cleared up beautifully by Cody Arkansas. And that's a foul call. Riff indicates a foul. Afana Fifi. Free kick will be taken by Lucas Egal. What an encounter we've seen so far in this final. After a full week of amazing football, 32 teams, a group stage, a round of 16, a quarter final, a semi final, down to this. And as we see our first change from Hutt International. The ball goes long. Maddox. Peacock. So, Brinkman. He has space. He plays the Fanaroa over top. And Sigal once again called into action. He's been really good off his six yard box. He looks to sit quite high as a keeper, so he's ready for that ball over top. As his defense are playing quite a high back line. And Lamont wins the header. And that's over the bar. Quite an ambitious shot. So we see again. Just looking to close this down. And that's a Alex Searle coming off. He's played a brilliant game here today. Had a goal scored, a goal disallowed. And he makes way here after 63 minutes. What a brilliant game he's played, Alex Searle. And that's his afternoon over. He'll sit and watch from the sideline. Hope his team can bring home the Boys Lotto Premiership final trophy. Henry Evans dispossessed. Looking to go forward. The ball's come through for Peacock. Cleared up brilliantly by Bacoem. Studdeny clearing up in that back line. Ben Dudney at that holding midfield. Does really well. And he'll look to get it forward. Play to Jelly, the captain. He's had the ball at his feet a lot today, but now he's dispossessed. And it's back to Seagal. Maddox does well. But Hart International still in position. Got the ball on this flank, this right flank. Played through, but George Brown does well. But the ball only goes as far as the Hutt International back line, who look to get it forward again. This constant stream of pressure from Hutt ends as Shiblikov indicates a foul. Maddox. Blocked by Ryoga. He's dropping back. Maddox. Out wide for Bidwa. Brinkman. Got space ahead of him. And look to exploit that. 
played over top and collected by Seagal. Push up, Herbs. And here's Brown, but his pass doesn't find the Tauranga Boys College shirt. It's been quite a cagey affair with these, these fouls. Riff pulled into action. Go forward, boys. And here's Get Lucas up. Jelly, Get up, boys. captain, sports captain at his school. That's a beautiful touch there. And it's hit by Lamont and collected by Taylor. Taylor just sitting on the ball. They've got the advantage, Tauranga Boys College. Looking to ride it out until this, the end of this game. Here's Dudney. As the clock ticks closer and closer to that 70 minute final whistle, the anticipation grows. Will Tauranga Boys College run away with this win? Or can Hutt International grab a goal back and send it to a penalty shootout? And that's a Tauranga Boys College foul. And Lucas Jelly's been shown a yellow card. Just being put into the referee's book quite late on here. A reminder after the 70 minutes are up, the referee adds on any time that's been taken up here. We've got two minutes left. We're into the 69th minute. And the ball's hammered for to Fanaro, a long ball. Received nicely. Benoit keeps that pressure up. And Henry Evans does well. And Hutt International will look to go forward. Look to get their target men involved. It's upfield. And now he's through. Griogna takes it past. And Troy Taylor with a beautiful save once again to keep Tottenham Boys College lead alive. And sliding in there was Cody Arkansas. Just tempers rising slightly here as we approach the end of this game. A really late challenge there from Cody Arkansas on John T. Bidwa and this was the chance just before where Troy Taylor got out so quickly. He got himself wide, he got his legs down and stopped the shot. And look, that looks like the end of the afternoon for Cody Arkansas. He's been sent off. 
We're in this final stage of the final here. And it looks like Hutt International are down to 10 men as we take over the 70 minute, 70 minute mark. Xavier Maddox to take the free kick. The Fana Fifi. Cleared away by Jelly. We're in the referee's hands now. It's all up to ref's time as that's played through by Evans. Maddox plays a long ball. And that's out for a throw. Ben Wynes looking to get this taken as quickly as possible. They're putting numbers way upfield. Lucas Segal trying to tie this game up. Jelly, over top, header one. Brinkman looking to go forward. Bidwa plays it through Brinkman. He'll wait out the clock in this left-hand corner. Keeps the ball. He's done brilliantly there. But Wyness wins it back and clears it upfield. But only as far as George Brown, the captain of Tauranga Boys College. Sigal, goalkeeper, plays it out. Hit a one. And that falls to the feet. No! It's John T. Bidwa. He's onside. And he will slow this game down. As the clock ticks down. It's Xavier Maddox. And Lucas Egal looking to get his team as far forward as possible. The Tottenham Boys College line is back as far as they can. Peacock gets ahead to it. Bidwa at his feet once again. He's been omnipresent in this Tottenham Boys College front line. Always there, always got the ball at his feet. And possibly one last chance here for Hutt International Boys. It's launched over top. Peacock, a good show of strength here. But here comes Hutt. They've got numbers forward. Looking to seize an equalizer. Jelly, it's put out beautifully. And this corner, the goalkeeper will come up. Everyone's up for this last corner. They've got every person on the pitch, all 11 men in this box, as they look to seize an equalizer. If they don't, it's the Tauranga Boys College trophy. Everyone back here for Tauranga Boys. One last chance. One denouement here as the ball comes in and it's cleared away. Brown clears it out. Ref indicates a throw in. Still in the hands of the referee. We're into the fourth minute of added time. It's out, the cross comes in and it's out for a Tauranga Boys College throw. Tauranga Boys College back in possession. And Thomas Page looks to come on here. On the sideline. Thomas Page, the tall forward man, comes on for goal scorer John T. Bidwa. What an amazing game Bidwa's had today. It's been incredible to watch. And here we are, the clock ticks down. Hard International still in position. The slide comes in. It's at Henry Evans' feet. He plays it on. George Brown away. And that's off the roof of the net. A chance. A chance not converted. On the right foot of Sam Riogna. That could, that might have been their final opportunity here. That's it. Tottenham Boys College have won. They've taken home this famous trophy. Absolute ecstasy from the Tauranga Boys College team, and they've done it. After a week of emotions, of triumph, 
of six wins, Tauranga Boys College take home the Boys Lotto Premiership Trophy. Thanks to a header from John T. Bidwa after three minutes. And now you can see all the emotions coming out. After this exceptional game of football we've seen. Tauranga Boys College, your Boys Lotto Premiership champions for 2022. What a game that's been. Two penalties given, an early goal, a red card, two red cards. And Tauranga Boys College have done it. What a game, what a tournament, what a way to do it. Just take a quick break now, and after that break, all the action from this amazing 70 minutes of football. Found the place. That's a good start. No time to fluff around today? No worries. Just swing into Caltex and pay for fuel with Pay and App to speed on through. Oh yeah, feels good. Use it at your local participating Caltex. This isn't about cameras, it's about getting a better shot, so you can get a better result. A great photo of your property is more important than a picture of our agent. Whoops, running on empty? Enjoy a six cents per litre fuel discount at your local Caltex with Pumped Every Day. Ah, feels good, eh? Get it at any participating Caltex. Welcome back to Fakata Māori's coverage of the final of the Boys Lotto Premiership Trophy. And there they are, Tauranga Boys College, the winners of the 2022 Lotto Premiership. And this was the deciding moment, the winner from John T. Bidwa, only three minutes into the game. It was a beautiful header. George Brown on the overlapping run gets the cross in. Bidwa, great power with the header. 
and the winner for Tauranga Boys College. Wherever you're joining us, in Napier, in New Zealand, or around the world, we appreciate you tuning into Fakata Modi's coverage of this exceptional game. And here was another big moment in the game. Tauranga Boys College with a constant stream of attempts. And their fight, their emotion, their precision, their purpose in the game all came down to this. But they've won seven out of their seven games. And they've won it. Tauranga Boys College champions of the New Zealand Secondary Schools Lotto Premiership. They've had an incredible season thus far, winning the Super 8 title. They won that against Hamilton boys. And now they take a massive, massive trophy from Hutt International boys. After years and years of this first 11 growing and expanding they've made it to the finals and conditions for this final could not have been better today clear blue skies here in beautiful Napier Tauranga Boys College coming back 20 years ago they were in the final and this is their first finals appearance since then and Jonty Bidwa with the header to win it all for Tauranga Boys.